On March 4, 2009, Fred Francis, former senior correspondent for NBC News, led distinguished members of the international media in a panel discussion with students, staff, and faculty at the Command and General Staff College about the relationship between the military and the media as part of the guest speaker program. The guest speaker program is part of the Command and General Staff College's commitment to excellence by bringing current and relevant speakers to share their experience. How would you rate the U.S. military's transparency in working with the media in comparison to these other nations? When I was covering the Balkans, the wars in Croatia, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and in Kosovo, I was usually treated by the Serb military forces or police forces, as well as the Croatian or Bosnian forces, as being kind of an enemy. So there was a rather hostile, someone treats you as a partner and is able to build a relationship of mutual trust and trust the other that he's going to get the story out as it is uh, and to be truthful and to be trustful and the best relationship between media and I think military that you, that the media person is covering is the relationship of mutual trust. Patricia, what advice would you offer military members to assist them in breaking cultural barriers? I think we've been talking a lot about smart power and soft power and the way you have to use this to advance your interests and now that the military mission is in a second stage, the stabilization stage and you're going to have to interact more and more with local people, um, identifying common interests and interesting yourself in the other culture, uh, smiling, you know, something as simple as a smile or speaking about sports, all those simple things go a long way. What advice would you give to the majors that are going to be graduating soon in here uh, and going out into those situations in dealing with the media? Don't try to manufacture anything. These are the smartest soldiers the United States has ever produced. Be yourself and engage. The only way that people in Kansas or Kentucky or California or Connecticut are going to understand what the mission of the American soldier is, is by seeing them on television, reading about them in the newspaper. And the only way that's going to happen is if these young majors go out and talk to reporters. We're able to grab two members of the audience today, Major Roy Nickerson and Major Jason Talaferro. Thank you for joining me. Now, Major Talaferro, what did you take away from the panel discussion that you think will be helpful to you in the future? I took away that it's essential for us as leaders uh, to manage the, the, the media and it's going to be a it's a management function. As we get more senior in rank, it's going to be more and more important to manage the media, embrace it, uh, as the media is the lens that the American public sees our everything that we do through. So um, using that as the tool uh, to promote what we are, or in some cases are what we are not doing, uh, the good and the bad, and to communicate that to the American public uh, so they can see exactly what we're doing and hopefully support it and, uh, and like I said, use it as a tool to communicate. Now, you, you mentioned that you did have embedded reporters with you in Iraq, and the, and the panel members spoke very positively about the embedding program. What are your thoughts on the embedding program? Uh, I, I fully support it. Uh, like you said, we had embeds in our unit, and they turned out to be, we managed it and, and used it as a tool to communicate both to those, those families of those specific soldiers in the unit back home, but and more broadly to try to get our message out to the American people of the good things that we were doing. That was at a time when uh, there was some more speculation or, or skeptics on exactly what was going on over there in Iraq at the time during the ground war, but we were able to show that we were doing uh, good humanitarian relief and, along with uh, accomplishing our combat mission. So it was, it was a very positive experience and I think as you'll see more and more with today's technology as it's growing, uh, you're going to see more and more embeds, more and more live feeds uh, actually from potential combat operations. So it's, it's definitely here to stay, so we as the military are, are going to embrace that. And, uh, and use it to, again, communicate, hopefully transparently, to the American people what's going on. Now, several members of the panel actually uh, mentioned that if it's not sensational, it's very hard for them to get it on the air, to get the story told. Um, what did you learn, what did you take away from that? What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think, uh, first of all, I think a lot of us really appreciated the candor uh, and the admission to that, I think, because all of us kind of realize that. Uh, we understand now better, from straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak, uh, that the media is a business. You know, they've got a job to do, as do we. Uh, but we've got to look at that at that positively, and realize that we can tell our story through this. And uh, 
Uh, whether or not we think it's sensational or not, doesn't matter. They're going to run with it the way they want to. The important part is we tell it from our perspective. And finally, did, did the panel discussion change any notions that you had of the media? I think it did. I think uh, understanding these people's views at a personal level was uh, very beneficial for us. Um, too often we, uh, we look at media members under the moniker of the media and, and uh, we just automatically turn ourselves off or perhaps we uh, kind of go in with certain motives. Uh, talking to these people as people and, and not necessarily as reporters and getting their uh, answers with candor was very beneficial to all of us. So. I'd like to thank you both for joining me here today and a special CGSC thank you to the members of the media panel.